Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to continue with more Half Quake Sunrise. Over here. Oh! <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to say there's a fake hole over here that's got another uh, thing, but if I crouch and move slowly this time. It says treasure over there. I can't slip past the spiked wall. This is the one we ran through from the original half quake. Seriously, can't we do anything to fight back? You mean other than sending thousands of creatures to defend us on the surface? Yeah, my calculator says we're clearly outnumbered. Well, I'm sending my chosen victor up there too, but it's so much work to revive and feed it afterwards. Yeah, you lazy bastard. Hey, you don't even have a chosen victim. Yeah, it got killed by that other victim, remember? Crushed into a million pieces with this stupid sword. I told you the sword was a bad idea. Hmm. Oh yeah, now that you mention it. Yeah, anyway, back to work. Yep. <laughs> I think they were referring to the victim we played as in Halfquake Amen, who gained the sword of sadism. Apparently giving a victim unlimited health and power wasn't such a hot idea after all. But yeah, is this could this be considered repeat four? We're back in the beginning room from Half Quake One. So let's try the button. Obviously the spiked wall thing is gonna come at us now because it already came at us. The door didn't open. I think I gotta keep pushing the button. You don't push it too many times. What, just enough to get it open so you can squeeze through. If you push it too many, it blows up and kills you this time around. Here's the lava room again. We can jump across to the door, which doesn't open. We can go over here, see a window, but it doesn't look like there's anything on the other side of that window. You'll see a hole that leads into an area from Halfquake Amen. To get into it, we got to get past this uh, knocked over death booth. So obviously don't activate the death booth and I think we can use it as a platform. There we go. The life booth is still intact. And it even still works just like it did in Half Quake Amen. There's the exit booth but it looks like it too has been destroyed. There's a hole down here though. Uh. Uh. Get out of this room. There's three, uh, there's two buttons over here you gotta hit. Go over here, drop down to this. Hit the first one. Do some platforming to get to this one. Got stuck. <laughs> One moment. Alright, I just did it again. This time I didn't get stuck in the platform. So let's head through here. And there's a, another advertising here. Your opinion counts. Express how you feel about the latest traps by participating in our annual sadism survey. Were the traps too hard? How often did you die? Take the time and help us improve our ratings. As a reward, you won't get chained to the wall. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't mention it before, but the music that plays during these is called Madvertise. There's a door over here you can go through, but don't bother going this way. It leads into this dark area where there's a light that shines you through, but it just takes you to the other side of the room where the spiked wall from the original Half Quake came through, and there's a fake uh, hole with the sign that says treasure, which we already saw. And there's no reason to go over there. So instead, we'll go over here and check out our new messages. Hello again, victim! I just wanted to let you know I'm going on vacation tomorrow. I know you're going to miss me, but fret not, I will send you a postcard. Made out of thin metal, so you can slit your wrists with it! You know, for those sad little moments. Want to bet you'll still be alive when I return in two weeks? Ha 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 ha! That's rich. Actually, I'm rich, but whatever. 
All right, let's try the next one. I'll be honest with you now, since you've come this far. You are a clone with a fake identity, artificial past. Nothing in your head is for real. Also, your eyes are actually cameras which transmit a high-definition live feed to our best clients. And hey, what I just told you might be a lie to make you care less about your life, thus sending you indirectly into the next hole. So, whatever. Have fun. <laughs> so, I might be a clone with cameras for eyes. Let's try uh, the last message. Still no sign of Mary, huh? Look. I'm sorry about that earlier. I didn't mean to yell at you. You're my friend, right? Awesome. Here's a little imaginary cookie for you. Keep looking. Mary must be somewhere. <laughs> he gives me a little imaginary cookie, but... Well, it doesn't work like the cookie you get in the room with the free cookie vending machine, since... The only way to get that achievement is to get blown up by the person in charge of that. <laughs> So the next room, I'm gonna make another quick save. I'm gonna run because yeah, that <laughs> that happens. Another one of these rooms where touching anything other than the platforms will kill you. So run on through, hop through, made it out of there. Uh. Welcome to the morality intersection. Take the easy way and you will hear a dozen of your friends die in agony. Or choose the hard way and spare their lives. For a while. Make your decision now. So you can choose the easy path or the hard path and they call it the morality intersection. Now the hard path, you can clear it. It's just a bunch of tricky platforming that leads to the end. If you take the easy path, it, you just ride a... Uh, the platform all the way to the end very slowly while they sing you a song. So we're gonna take the easy path. I'll open it with the button. And they'll sing a song for you called Just For You while you listen to uh, the sounds of screaming and such. Thank you for killing your friends. They are now going to be stabbed in their backs. Enjoy. <laughs> We hope you're feeling happy now. the end of the ride. <laughs> but yeah, if you take the hard path, the uh, platforming is much trickier and uh, a lot more difficult. You'll see here, there's a uh, one of these things here. It's, they were sitting in the chairs. This is how you emerge if you go down the hard path. But yeah, if you take the hard path, you don't get to hear the song Just For You play in the background while you ride. And the soundtrack has the song without all the screaming and groaning and such in the background of it. So let's try the next door. Uh. You know, if I can make it to the next door without missing the jump, like I just did. Get back on this stack of chairs. Through the door. We're not 
have taken that door. Come to a puzzle I'm not entirely sure how to pull off, but let's go this way first. Death. Some people say it's a handicap. We say it's a feature. Die now and join the terrific community of people who are already dead. It's an understatement to say that you're missing out by not dying immediately. Meet your makers today. <laughs> so we find a mad advertisement for death itself kind of amusing. So I'll try to explain how you get out of this room. There's this slot machine in the middle of the room. When you pull the lever on the right, it'll start to spin. And you have to get it on the regular happy face, as all the other ones are evil happy faces. If you get an evil happy face, you explode and die. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure how this puzzle works. Turn it. Pushing the lever again doesn't do anything. At least not that I can tell. Yep. And that's what happens. So I'm going to keep trying this until I get the, uh... The actual result. There we go, I got it to work. Alright. Okay, this opens so I can get out. So we drop down here. Now we enter the uh, tower game. I gotta choose a tower down here. And I gotta be careful when I choose a tower, because the electric sparks that shoot out of it will hurt me as well. So let's try this one. Before we head back up, we'll check out our victim's message box, which for some reason is now spinning around. So we'll wait till we can get in. And check out our two messages. Guess what? I found her. You know where she was? On my freaking head. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And you know why? Mary felt that I was actually falling apart, so she thought she should help. Oh, by the way, I appreciate you running around and searching for her. You can stop now. So just uh, jump into a hole and rest. You've earned it. <laughs> oh, and get some happy thoughts. You know. It's real depressing in here. Alright, look at our other message. You might have noticed some <clears throat> minor incidents like exploding walls and stuff. For your information, nothing's wrong. It was all destroyed deliberately to inflict emotional stress. We're not under attack or anything like that. <laughs> so that voice is claiming that the attacks they were talking about where we saw parts of the facility from previous games in the Halfquake trilogy dropping onto us were just an illusion they created. So once you've chosen your tower, you can start the stage with this button. So once the uh, thing goes, I hit it. This music will play. <laughs> I forget what this theme is called, but it's another original theme. All of Sunrise has original music. None of it was licensed music that had to be changed for the Steam version. The text will cover what song that was. So what your goal is to do is to destroy as many of those boxes as you can and fill up that meter in the center. That way it will... If you can fill it up all the way, you'll win. Otherwise you lose. Hence why I'm not going to quick save while doing this. So, we're going to start the stage. Because you have to win this game to progress. And to do it, you have to choose the right towers. Though I feel it's more luck-based than anything else, really. Let's try another one. I'll 
activate this tower. Alright, let's try again. Because I think there's like five rounds and then if you got enough boxes you win, otherwise you lose. Seriously? <laughs> well, that could have gone better. I might be able to show off what happens when you lose. Let's activate this tower. And then start the next stage. You'll see the boxes actually start rising up, which makes it harder to hit them. any boxes. That round went real bad for me. <laughs> Alright, let's choose another tower. Let's try this one. Alright, push the button. Boxes come out faster now. <laughs> this is why I haven't been quick saving. So here's what happens when you lose. You have to head into this room, and you'll see the goodbye button, as well as this red mark on the picture here. Push the button, and boom. <laughs> Twice now, I've smashed myself going and back up here to start the stage. Really good at that. You gotta be standing right in the middle of the platform, so you gotta be real careful going back up. there anyway. The ones with the angry eyes require to uh, take a bunch of hits to be destroyed, while the ones with normal eyes, well, they, t they go down in one hit. Right, carefully go back up here. Button again. Ooh, I got a lot of boxes that time. tower should I get next? I'll get this one next. Alright, make sure I'm safe on the platform again. And back up.
just gotta really hope stage five goes well for me. Let's try activating this one. Alright, last stage. Let's see if I can win this. this time. Says you win. Right, once you've won, this way will open. We'll wrap up by uh, pressing the button here. It loads and then that smashes in. Turn that back off. I'm gonna head over here. Hit this. Now an elevator should be available. I just have to find it. Okay, that's the way I came in. Which means it's over here. Here we go. And this is where you get the other achievement. Let's press the button. Ride this elevator down. And to get the last achievement before the finishing Halfquake Sunrise, you just run through this corridor, which will play music. That's all we get for that. So this is where we'll wrap this part up. In the next part we'll head into uh, some more areas that are reminiscent of places we've been to before in Half Quake Amen. So in that part we'll see what's really happening with the facility and maybe even find our way out of here. So once again I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next video.